I'm Brigadier General Pete Helmlinger, Commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Northwestern Division. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch these videos about Missouri River Main Stem Reservoir System Operations for Spring 2020. This is not how we had planned to hold these meetings, especially after all the challenges of 2019. We'd much rather be meeting with you in person, which is our preferred way of conducting business, exchanging information, and building relationships. However, given the current coronavirus outbreak, it is not safe for us, nor for you, to meet in large gatherings. Safety remains our top priority. We made a commitment to everyone living along the Missouri River to provide the information you need to know about projected runoff and operations for the Missouri River main stem system this year. This is why we are holding virtual meetings. I want to assure you that the Corps has many talented professionals involved in Missouri River system operations. Leading this team of professionals is Mr. John Remus, Chief of the Missouri River Water Management Division. Following my introduction, John will provide an overview of hydrologic conditions in the Missouri River Basin and some housekeeping for this unique meeting format. Three additional videos will provide the technical information concerning runoff and planned main stem system operations. As you've probably seen in the news, the Corps is working with the White House, Department of Defense, and other federal, state, and local partners in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have teams of engineers, project managers, and support personnel working across the region, helping prepare for any future needs. Despite these ongoing efforts and requirements for social distancing from one another, this work will not impact our essential missions on the Missouri River Basin, such as flood control and water supply. I want to assure you that the Missouri River Basin Water Management Team is fully functional. We have personnel who are in the office, some who are teleworking, and some who are balancing both. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. We value your input and encourage you to watch all the videos and submit your questions to our water management staff. I will now turn things over to John Remus. Thank you, General Helminger. I'm John Remus, Chief of the Corps' Missouri River Basin Water Management Division. My office is responsible for the regulation of the Missouri River Main Stem Dam and Reservoir System. In general, the hydrologic conditions in the Missouri River Basin are considerably better than this time a year ago. We have experienced a very favorable plain snowpack melt. The mountain snowpack is about average, and so far the spring precipitation has been manageable. However, we are forecasting an upper decile runoff for the upper basin, so we are not out of the woods yet. The technical details are available in the videos that will follow. The purpose of this video and the ones that will follow are to inform you of Missouri River Basin conditions as they exist today and how we plan to operate the Missouri River Mainstream Reservoir System based on these existing conditions. As General Helminger stated, we would much rather be having these meetings in person, but that is just not possible. However, we want and need your input. To that end, I am asking you to view the videos and send in your questions via the internet. A form for you to submit your questions is at the web page at the bottom of the screen. We will repeat the link at the end of the video and in the video's description. As we receive the questions, we will review and where appropriate, consolidate the questions and then provide responses through a series of public conference calls during the week of April 20th. For a schedule of public conference calls, please go to the web page that appears at the end of this video. Due to a limited number of call-in lines, I would ask that you call in only once. We will publish the consolidated questions and answers on our web page, and we will record the calls and share them online. There are three other videos. The first is a presentation from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the National Weather Service's Missouri Basin River Forecast Center that provides a hydrologic outlook for the basin. In the other two videos, two of my senior staff will present technical information relative to system operations. Mr. Kevin Grody, our regular reservoir regulation team leader, will provide an assessment of current basin conditions and the runoff forecast for the upper Missouri River Basin. Mr. Mike Swenson, our power production team leader, will present an overview of system operations and how they serve the authorized purposes based on the current conditions and forecast and runoff. Please view the videos, and if you have questions, please submit them via the form at the webpage listed below. 
The first public conference call is scheduled for April 20th, so if you can, please submit your questions no later than Friday, April 17th. If you do not have a question, but you want to simply make a statement, I encourage you to do that as well using the same form. Statements will not be addressed during the public conference calls, but will be consolidated, consolidated into a single document and posted to the Missouri River Basin Water Management webpage. In closing, I would like to leave you with the following. While virtual meetings are not ideal, there are some advantages. You can view the videos at your schedule. You can pause them, rewind them, and view them as many times as you like. We have also made the slides featured in the videos available on the same webpage as the form for you to submit your questions. You also have more time to think about any questions. I know that when I leave a public meeting, I almost always get about halfway home and think of another question or questions I wanted to ask. As General Helminger stated, the Missouri River Basin Water Management Office is fully functional. We have a standing continuity of operations plan, sometimes referred to as a COOP. We recently tested the COOP in January of this year and activated the COOP in February for a non-COVID-19 related incident. The process worked as intended, and I am confident that we will remain fully functional as the ongoing pandemic emergency unfolds. These meetings are not the end of our engagement. They are just part of our ongoing efforts to provide you with the most up-to-date information. We will continue to conduct our routine activities, such as posting our weekly updates, and if needed, we will increase the frequency of communication. Also, you can always contact our office with questions. Our contact information is listed at the end of this video. And lastly, take care of yourselves and each other. We plan to resume our public meetings this fall. Thank you, and I look forward to receiving your questions and comments.